Greetings once again, my friends, and welcome you to another video. And I'd like to do a special little subject today. Um, this is the SS France I want to talk about. I actually want to show you the model from Glencoe. Now, when it comes to the SS France, she's had a colorful life. Um, I did a history on the SS France, and then the SS Norway, and the Blue Lady. And I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. The ship actually had three lives. She started off as the um, SS France, and she was ordered, owned, and operated by the French line. She would later be sold to the Norwegian Cruise Line, and she would be refitted, and she would be renamed the SS Norway. Um, incidentally, she had 12 decks when she was the France, and during the upgrades and refitting, she ultimately ended up with 15 decks. And she was actually the largest cruise ship of her time. Largest transatlantic ocean liner as well. She was originally ported in Navarre, France, and she would make runs to Southampton in New York City. Then when she got purchased by the Norwegian Cruise Lines, she did kind of a suddenly Caribbean type uh, voyage when she was a cruise ship. And there was some that weren't very happy because they took out the dining rooms and some of the elegance to replace with the cruise ship kind of amenities like, you know, casinos and gift shops and things like that. Anyway, what I want to show you guys today is from Glencoe. And this is the SS France. You can see this is from Glencoe Models. And I had gotten this a while ago. Um, <clears throat> I was actually, I actually knew about the SS United States before I knew about the SS France. And one of the things that drew me to the SS United States were her smoke funnels. And when I had seen this, because I, I couldn't find any of the SS United States models for sale at the time, and when I pulled it up, this came up, because it was Glencoe models. And this is the SS France. And what drew me to her was the, um, the funnels. See how they have that kind of an aerodynamic um, shape with the wings and I know that's to help keep the uh, the exhaust from reaching down into the passengers. But I saw this and I thought this is a really pretty ship. Not to mention this is well over a thousand feet. This is almost 1100 feet long. Think about the size of this. The SS United States was um, not quite a thousand feet and the Titanic was not quite 900 feet, so this ship was absolutely huge. So let me talk, tell you guys about the model kit. The model kit itself, um, she's actually molded in two colors. There's black, <clears throat> and then there's dark gray. It's kind of like a dark gray. Um, it's really interesting, because you figure it'd be white, but it's, it's dark gray. And she has uh, two pedestals that she rests on. The United States, by comparison, has a wood base. And but this one just has two kind of pedestals that go under. I will show you guys the, uh, the model kit. And I will show you the instructions. Like I always do, I'll put the instructions up for you guys. Step one of the instructions. You can see we're putting the, um, the the hull, we're getting the hull ready and we're putting on the propellers and you can see the forecastle that's going to go into the front and we got the rudder that's going to go on the back as well as the housings for the propeller shafts. Under step two you can see the propeller shafts themselves, uh, they go into the housings and the propellers are going to be put on as well. Step three, you can see we start with the uh, what looks like the promenade deck areas and you can see some of the hatches that are going on at the front towards the bow. And in step four, <clears throat> you can see we do the smokestacks and looks like some of the, um, the lifeboats and you can see it looks like the mast and 
different sections of the superstructure that go up on the top of the ship. And step five, looks like we're putting on the um, promenade deck section, more of the superstructure. You can see the bridge area and the fantail or the poop deck. And on to step six, looks like we're putting on, it looks like um, lifeboats. You can see the davits and looks like we've got a couple of staircases and platforms. And that's step six, let's see, step seven, looks like we've got more of the masts that go on in the back, or they could be cranes actually, into the back of the ship. Step eight, you can see back to the forecastle, we're putting on more of the stuff that goes on, looks like winches. Um, different, uh, you can see the post that goes all the way at the bow, different things. And let's see on to step 10. You can see we're putting it all together. It's going to go on. You can see it looks like the bilge keel going on. And you can see the stand that um, the pieces that the ship is going to rest on. And you can see step 10 is optional. It's actually the rigging, which is always a good idea. And on the bottom, they have a parts list. They also give a painting guide. Uh, the painting guide isn't exactly, well, it's not even in color. It shows the colors you're gonna need, a white, tan, green deck, black, whole red, and red. <clears throat> but you can see the illustration on the front of the box. And this is in one 450 scale, which is kind of different. I'm wondering if they just do that because the ship is so big. Um, be interesting if, you know, a trumpeter would make a 1-200 scale model of her. That'd be pretty interesting, but this is the France, and that's the front of the box. Let me give you guys a little tour, showing you the side of the box. You got that same illustration, and we've got some information. The world's longest, most luxurious passenger ship. This is how the SS France was described shortly after she entered the North Atlantic service in February of 1962. The France represented the ultimate ocean liners, featuring the newest and best innovations in style, interior appointments, marine design, and engineering. The France's 11 decks could hold 2,044 passengers. I'm sorry, I had 12, I said 12, I meant to say 11 in plush comfort with only two classes, first and Taurus. Unique for her time, she had 664 foot seat theater, which was the largest afloat. The France was the most visible by her length and twin wing funnels. The funnels were designed for the passenger's comfort by having the exhaust driven out the sides over the decks. Four retractable stabilizer fins beneath the waterline also provide comfort and stabilization for the ship's roll. The France sailed for 12 years from 62 to 74, when, as most other ocean liners, she was laid up during a period of uh, the France made 330 Atlantic crossings, over 50 cruises, and two ultra luxurious trips around the world. In 1979, cruise ship lines surprised most of the shipping community when it bought the France. One year later, she was transformed into the world's largest cruise ship, the SS Norway. The Norway held this title until 1995. Today, the Norway holds 2,181 passengers and sails regularly from Miami, Florida. Her latest upgrades will keep her sailing into the 21st century. Obviously, this is a while ago. The France was 1,035 feet in length, making her the longest ocean liner, with a beam was only 110 feet, while her spread average 30 or speed average 30 knots. Plus, while the France's 12 decks could hold 2,044 passengers, she needed a crew of 1,100 to man and serve her. This kit includes two-piece, 24 and a half inch hull and decals by Master Invisia Claire. So that was <clears throat> that side of the box. Let me try to spin her around to give you guys a view of the, the ends. You can see the ship, Glencoe Models, and this is kit number 09302. And I think they're the same on both ends. Let's just make sure, yep. Same on both ends of the box. And let's see, for the other side of the box, excuse me, I'm holding the camera. 
of why I'm trying to do it. We have the information on the France, and it's in French. So, Parlez vous français? Let's comprar a français. You can check this out. Kit includes a single piece, 24 and a half inch hull, decals, and made in USA. Glencoe models. It'd be kind of cool if um, round two models could purchase Glencoe. That would be nice to bring these model kits back. Um, I've got a model to show you when it comes to the SS France. Much like the United States, this model kit was originally done by Ideal Toy Corporation, um, ITC. And I had gotten this ship off eBay a while ago, um, a model, and the more I looked at it, the more I realized that it wasn't a model kit. It was probably one of those things that they get, they put together for like a travel agency. Um, I've shown you the 1953 Ideal Toy Corporation SS United States, and that was really fun to go through. Well, my next video, I'm going to show you the Ideal Toy Corporation version of this ship. That was the original molding and tooling for this kit. <clears throat> Incidentally, you know, guys, I, I, I'm a huge Al Pacino fan, and I love his films. And I had never noticed this before, but he did a movie in the 70s, as of the late 70s or early 80s, it was Serpico. He played a cop that ended up going undercover, and he was disgusted because he come to realize that much of the police force was corrupt. And he pretty much stuck his, stuck his neck out to try to get everything straightened out and bring those police to justice, and he just didn't like crooked cops, and I don't blame him. Well, anyway, in the final scene, he's sitting, because it's in New York City, he's sitting at the dock, and lo and behold, the camera pulls away, and what's sitting behind him is the SS France. I'm going to put the video up. I, I hope that it doesn't get copyright uh, strikes. What I'm going to do is it's going to be no, um, no music or anything. I'm just going to put the, uh, the video. But you can see the beautiful bow section. And you can see the cars on the street, and you can actually see the size of the ship and how big she was. Um, I'd like to get a model kit of the SS France, and what I think I want to do is I want to make her as the Norway, because they don't have a kit for the Norway. And you can see she had 11 decks, I'm sorry I had said 12. And they'll put two more decks eventually on top. One of them runs the whole length of the ship. And the top deck only goes around the, um, the forward funnel. I'm not sure if it goes the forward funnel. or it, it's, it doesn't run the whole length of the ship anyway. But I would like to do that. But as for this model kit, like I said, it's molded in gray. The hull is one piece. And it's 24 and a half inches long. Everything is molded in either gray or black. You have the, the little name plates that go up on the sides. And this was a beautiful ship. Like I said, I'll put the link below for the history. And I'll put up the instructions and show you guys about this wonderful kit from Glencoe. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video just to show you about this model. And like I said, hopefully I'll be getting one to um, make as the Norway. Because I'm going to have to modify it, so I want to get it at the right price, just in case I totally destroy it. But I got some stuff to show you from the SS France coming up. And I hope you stay tuned for those videos. And until the next time I talk to you guys, thank you so much for watching, and take care.